Tariq sent a question saying, what is an ijazah? Ijazah in Arabic can mean a holiday, but I don't think he is referring to that. In technical terms, ijazah is a sort of an authorization or a permission that earlier scholars used to grant and give to their students who were highly decorated as a form of appreciation that now you are entitled, you're authorized to what I have taught you to go and relay that on my behalf. So a sheikh, an imam, comes and says, oh people, this student of mine, let's assume his name is Ahmed, Ahmed is authorized by me. I have given him the permission, the ijazah, to read all the books of mine on my behalf. He has heard the Sahih al-Bukhari from me. So Ahmed now can say, I heard my sheikh Asim saying that he heard his sheikh Abdullah, heard his sheikh Ahmed, Muhammad. So until Imam al-Bukhari, Muhammad ibn Ismail, and he heard from him what I'm going to narrate to you of the books of Sahih al-Bukhari. So this is quite an honor to have if it were legit and real. Why do you say that? Because in the early times, it was legit and real. A smart student comes to his sheikh, sticks with him for 10 years, hears from him all the books of hadith, or if he is a reciter of the Quran, a hafiz of the Quran, he hears from him the Quran, he recites to his sheikh the Quran, the sheikh corrects him, whether it is by the riwayah of Hafs and Asim or by the 10 riwayat or qiraat, and he has a chain of narrators. So now the sheikh is confident that his student is mastering his own knowledge. So he gives him this ijazah. So the student goes and says, I've memorized the Quran. And people say, what's your sanad? What is the chain of narrators? He said, I've memorized it from my sheikh so-and-so, who memorized it from his sheikh, and he memorizes the people, the name of the people, until he reaches Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, and Abdullah ibn Mas'ud heard it from the Prophet This is legit. Later on, it became as a form of prestige. So a student comes, stays with me for three months or six months, and he serves me well and I like him and I feel that he's a good person. So I say, I authorize you to narrate on my behalf everything that I've written down in my library. And the student may have not re even read 1%, but now he has a written statement giving him authorization. So he goes and brags about it and says, yes, my sheikh said so and so and so. And people ask him, did you Hear that from your sheikh yourself. He said, no, but I found it in one of the books. And he gave me the authorization to report it as if I heard it from him. But the sheikh may have changed his mind, may have written something else. So this is not legit and this is not the real uh, ijazah. Uh, however, again, it doesn't mean when you have an ijazah that you are a master in what you do. Why? The person is a student of knowledge. He has heard Sahih al-Bukhari directly from his sheikh, and he has the chain of narrators, the Senate says, yes, but so many people who memorize Sahih al-Bukhari by heart, yet they do not have the intellect to understand it. And the Prophet said, والسلام, said that when he said, convey from me whatever you hear to others. So you hear a hadith, Convey it to others. You hear an ayah, you report it to others. Because maybe the hearer, the one who 
listens to you might be more understanding to it than the bearer, the one who conveyed it to you. And so many times people come and say, yeah, uh, the prophet says so and so and so, but I don't know what it means. And a faqih, a scholar comes and said, yes, this hadith entails so and so and so and so and so. And the guy is, huh, with jaws down? I never thought all of this was in the hadith, but you've opened my eyes. Likewise, a number of people who recite the Quran perfectly. I've heard some of them, mashallah, from Indonesia, from India, from uh, Pakistan, cannot even speak one single word in Arabic and do not understand a single word of what they're memorizing. But when they recite it to an Arab and the Arab says, yes, this ayah means so and so and Allah is prohibiting so and so from us. And they said, wow, this is great. So again, ijazah doesn't mean a lot, but it is definitely one way of acquiring knowledge and Allah knows best.